What's up friends? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jessie, also known as Miss Cherry. And if you're a returning subscriber, hi guys, welcome back. I'm so happy that you are here today. So today we're going to be filming the amazing Walt Disney World slash Universal Studios haul video. But before we do that, guys, we have a new background. Is this so, oh my gosh, I knocked over my ears. Isn't this so fun? So we have a new little shelving unit here that we have a bunch of bags on and I thought this would be so fun to do a new bag display. My friend Lindsay actually came up with the idea. She's like, you really need to display those so people can see them. Great idea, Lindsay. So she helped me create this little shelving unit area here that's kind of like diagonal across from where I have my Halloween and also my Christmas displays that you guys may be familiar with if you've seen the channel before. So be on the lookout for some seasonal changes with these bags. I'm really excited to be able to have a new place to decorate and to be able to show you guys some more of my collection because there is a lot. So anyway, welcome to the new background. I'm so glad that you're here today. I just got back from a nine day trip to Walt Disney World and I went with my mom and my aunt so I was there with them for the whole time and then I also got to free see my friends Josh and Jackie my friend Jen and her family and then also Sue Simone and my friend Will so we got to see a ton of people while we were there it was so much fun we spent the majority of the time at Walt Disney World we were at Universal Studios for one day and also we were able to attend Mickey's very merry Christmas party as well as do a ginger bread crawl so this gingerbread crawl I made it up it's not really a thing but basically it's where you go and visit all of the gingerbread displays in Walt Disney World so if you're interested in seeing that vlog I'll link it above and down below for you guys to check out but today we've got a lot to get through so let's go ahead and get started let's talk about the things that I purchased while I was there mind you I did have a $300 gift card which was incredible and so I definitely um, bought a lot on that gift card. Also my aunt and my mom got me birthday gifts, which was really sweet because my birthday was November 30th and we actually arrived in Disney World on the second. So it was right after my birthday. Thing to keep in mind is that I do have annual pass. So I do have a 20% discount on all of the items that I have purchased. So please keep that in mind. And the same goes for Universal Studios. I'm also a Universal Studios annual pass holder. And we actually got a lot of free stuff. So let's start with free stuff. Oh, and by the way, I will be putting chapters at the bottom. You guys seem to really enjoy those chapters. So I do have everything separated in categories. So if there's a certain category that you want to check out, all the chapters will be listed here for you. So we went to Minnie's Hollywood and Dine, where we got to meet um, Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Goofy, and I think that's it. I don't think really beautiful postcard. And this is Minnie Mouse. She's putting little Christmas baubles onto the tree and they feature each of the characters, which I think is so adorable. And then on the back, it has a Mickey, Pluto, Minnie, and a Goofy signature with Minnie's Hollywood and Dine. Minnie's Holiday Dine at Hollywood and Vine on the back. Gosh, that is a super big tongue twister. Anyway, I think this is super cute. I'm gonna be putting this with my holiday things and then I probably will be put this, putting this on my holiday display next year. And if you miss the holiday display, I do have a video and I will link it above and down below for you guys to check out if you're interested in seeing the very epic Disney holiday display, chef's kiss. I loved how it turned out this year and I hope that you guys did too. Let me know what you thought of it down below if you were able to see that video. And then next we went to Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. Now obviously the party costs money, but they were able to give two free items this year. I'm just gonna show you quickly the map because I think the map is so beautiful. So here's Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. It does have the 50th anniversary castle, which is so beautiful, the little toy soldiers in front of it. I thought they did such a good job on this map. It's so beautiful. And so I like kept it pretty preserved in a little file folder because I wanted to be able to keep it as a keepsake because I got to go to the Christmas party on the 50th twice. So we went this year and we also went last year and they didn't have um, as much stuff because it was still kind of in quote unquote um, pa pandemic times. Now they were giving out right when you got in, you got to go to the alternative walkway, which is kind of like by Tony's, the restaurant in between Tony's and the confectionery and you kind of walk behind and they were giving out this beautiful 
Christmas ornament. So here is the free Christmas ornament that we got. It says Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. It has the 50th anniversary castle and it does have some really pretty glitter. And then look at the back. It says 2022. It's so beautiful. I thought this was like such a nice free gift to be giving out. And they only gave them out until like, I think it was like 8 p.m. And then they stopped giving them out. So that was awesome that we were able to get them because that was one of the things that I really, really wanted to get. Now, the next thing that we got as we were leaving Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party is this beautiful art print. Now, I will say I have framed it. It was not framed when I got it. So this was a nine by 12 art print and it says Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. And then it has uh, the wreaths that are featured on Main Street this year, the castle, the 50th logo, the toy soldiers, Mickey and Minnie enjoying some cocoa with Pluto, and then it has Walt Disney World 50th here in the bottom corner. I thought it was so cute. This is also featured on my holiday display. So it, again, if you're interested in seeing that, that's gonna be down below, but isn't that so cool? I love this. I know that they were doing this for the, um, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party. They did have a Halloween and I was supposed to go to that party, but because of Hurricane Ian, I wasn't able to attend, which was really, really sad. So I never ended up getting that particular art print, which was really disappointing. So I'm so glad to have this one and I will definitely be displaying this kind of in the future because I think it's just so cool that we were there on the 50th. It's just so special. So this is not free, but we did do the activity. Um, you can tell that we did a great job. We did the Holiday Tradition <laughs> Expedition 2022, Olaf's, excuse me, Olaf's Holiday Tradition Expedition 2022. Apparently you're supposed to go to each country and find Olaf. So we, well, we knew that that was the rules. We just didn't do it. We got one of them and we're like, you know what? We don't have time. <laughs> so anyway, we uh, cashed these in for the prize. So we kind of cheated a little bit. We, it wasn't intentional. It just like, we just didn't do it guys. We just didn't have the time. Does that ever, it happens. I always think like, I'm gonna have so much time to do all these like fun activities in Disney World. And then at time just gets away from you while you're there and it's like, Nope. So I was able to get the Sven zipper pouch. So they had zipper pouches available. They had an Olaf one, a Sven one, and an Anna and Elsa one. And I just thought the Sven one was so very cute. You don't often see Sven in merchandise. And it's got a snowflake on the back and it's meant to be like a little bag charm. And uh, this would be perfect for like pin trading or something like that, but I thought this was super cute. So next let's move on to popcorn buckets. I got one popcorn bucket. This was actually a gift from my mom to me. I really, really wanted this popcorn bucket because I love Walt's Lodge collection. So last year they came out with Walt's Lodge and Walt's Lodge is basically the elite eight enjoying themselves at a ski resort that they called Walt's Lodge. And so they have all of this different merchandise that came out last year where they were skiing, sledding, snowboarding. They were inside dressing the tree they're by the fireplace having cocoa. It was the cutest collection. I was so excited to see that they kind of extended it a little bit into this year. And so this is a popcorn bucket. It does, it is a music box. So there is a musical element to it. And when you turn it, it will rotate the images around. This is my favorite image. It's Mickey and Minnie kind of snoozing by the fire with Pluto at their feet snoozing as well. It's so cute. Seems like they may have just like hit the slopes and then came back for a little rest. And then we've got <laughs> Goofy that fell down, which I think is so funny. He made himself a giant snowball. And then we have all of the characters dressing the tree. And then we have Chip and Dale snowboarding and Pluto sledding, which I think is super duper cute. Now this is a metal. You can probably hear it kind of rattling around and it does have a little Mickey at the top. It's so, so very cute. And I did also display this um, on my holiday display as well. But this is such a neat popcorn bucket. I hope they come out with more specialty popcorn buckets that are like this because it was just so fancy. I just think it's like one of the coolest popcorn buckets that they've done, especially with like that musical element. I'm not gonna turn the musical element on because it like 
takes a long time for it to go through its sequence, but if you'd like to hear it, it is on my holiday display video. So, so head over there to go hear what it sounds like. Next, we're gonna move on to Gideon's Bakehouse. So for those of you that don't know, Gideon's Bakehouse is like a very fancy, Tim Burton-esque <laughs> bake shop, basically. They're known for their artisan cookies, and I brought home 12 cookies. Uh, they have the Kringle cookie, which is my most favorite cookie that they have all year. It's a specialty Christmas cookie. And that cookie is, let me read it to you. It is a complexly flavored white chocolate coffee bean cookie, and it is so good. They also had a really cute new menu for the month and this is Natalia the Christmas witch and so here she is she's a little Christmas witch she's absolutely adorable and they give these out as like free gifts when you go and visit Gideon's but what I think is so cute about this look she's got a little Christmas tree on her hat and then her sack is full of Gideon's of boxes where you get those cookies and guys if you haven't gone to if you haven't been to Gideon's you are definitely missing out. There is a Disney Springs location and there's also an Orlando location that's hardly ever busy. So if you're ever in a pinch, just head there because the one at Disney Springs always has a huge line. The next thing that comes in Gideon's boxes, which I think are so fun, are their trading cards. So I collect their trading cards, a character, and they also have a story about that specific character. So these are the ones that I got this time. There's only one in each box. And so you'll notice I have four. I got two boxes for myself and then my mom and my aunt also got a box. So they gave me their little cards, which I thought was super sweet. Last year, Gideon's had Krampus and Kringle everything. So it was like Kris Kringle and Krampus themed all the things, which was so fun. And I kept my menus from last year because I thought they were so adorable. And this year they had the Krampus and Kris Kringle pins. And I think these are so cute. Let me take them out of the wrapping so you can see them a little bit better. There we go. And it says, Christmas time is here once more with cookies, cakes, and gifts galore. But have I been naughty or have I been nice? Will my stocking be full or will I pay the price? And as you can see, Kris Kringle has some really pretty iridescent glitter. And then there's Krampus with his tongue out, which I am obsessed. And so I'm definitely gonna be adding this to my holiday pin board because I think they're so cute. They are so cute. And then of course, I got this last year, but I had to get another one this year because I just love the Kris Kringle cookie. So they have a Kris Kringle candle. Um, and so this candle smells just like the coffee white chocolate. Oh my gosh, it seriously smells exactly like the cookie. I love burning these types, these types of candles in the morning, the coffee scent in the morning because I just think it like fills your house with like coziness and delightfulness and oh, I love it so much. And so what's really fun about this candle is that they also had a Krampus candle as well. But I'm more of a Kris Kringle girl. The Krampus candle, just so you know, is like the Krampus cookie slash candle is mint chocolate and dark, dark chocolate and mint. So it's like a minty scent. I prefer the coffee and white chocolate scent. That's just my personal preference. Which would you like? Would you like the mint chocolate or would you like the Kris Kringle? coffee slash white chocolate. Let me know down below. Also your favorite Gideon's cookie because I feel like they come out with so many seasonal cookies because every single month they have a specialty cookie. And I know there's a lot of people that love like certain months cookies and then they can't get them again, which is like so sad. And also if you go there, get the peanut butter cold brew, it will literally, it will change your life. Also I got two reusable grocery bags. I got the season's greetings from Walt Disney World. I got this more for necessity because I really um, didn't want to have to carry a plastic bag around Disney Springs. And so these are much more comfortable to carry. And you can also place, this is what I love about these. You can place these straps easily over your shoulder. And so they're just so much simpler to carry with you. And I think these are so cute, but what I wanna show you there we go. Oh my gosh, look at this. <laughs> Chip and Dale are riding on candy cane pony or candy cane reindeer. <laughs> look at these little candy cane reindeers. Oh my God, I died. I thought these were so cute. 
I remember making those as a child with like pipe cleaners and little pom-poms and googly eyes and I just love that that was represented here like what a cool touch and then the next reusable bag I got was this Walt Disney World 50th bag this was the last bag that I needed to collect from the three so I have the large and the medium and so this actually has tink on the front which I think is so pretty it's really pretty iridescent so are the handles and then on the back is the castle with all sorts of different characters in these little cubes. And it says Walt Disney World at the bottom. Next, let's go to Universal Studios. So I bought four things from Universal Studios. The first thing I purchased was this really pretty Happy Holidays from Hogwarts greeting card. And I got this because I want to eventually do a Harry Potter Yule Ball themed shelf on my holiday display. I thought I was going to have enough things to fill it up, but I just didn't. So I need to do a little bit more collecting and I really, really want it to be very authentic to the Yule Ball. So I'm kind of taking my time to try to find those items and collect them over time. But this says happy holidays and it says Hogwarts. It does have an actual snow globe. So the little snowflakes go around in a little um, shake around in there. It has the Hogwarts castle. It does have really nice metallic elements to it as well. A Christmas ornament I thought like just was so very cool. So this is the Hogwarts and it's like them going to like their first year. And so there are all the students in the boats and then there's the Hogwarts castle illuminated in the back, which I think is so very pretty. And this doesn't really have any Christmas elements, so I do feel like this could definitely be displayed all year round. Okay, I thought this was so neat. Now this definitely isn't Yule Ball themed. However, I love Honeydukes. I think that Honeydukes is like the most beautiful. I love the aesthetic of it. It is just so, so much fun. So here is the Honeydukes Christmas ornament and what's so cool it does have like iridescent glitter snow over the edge of the shop window and then there's the birdie bots every flavor beans display that goes into that window and it is like a three-dimensional uh, window so you can see it does have like a little bit of depth to it and it does definitely look like an actual little window it's so cute and I might actually keep this out all year round I do have a honey dukes portion of my shelf that has tons of little Honey Dukes things. And I don't think it's like too Christmassy to where it would like deter from it being a Honey Dukes item. So I think I'm gonna probably display this all year round. Oh, okay, I fell in love with this. So if you've been to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, you know there is an all year round snowman that is in Hogsmeade area. And they actually had him as a Christmas ornament. And they had him with all of the different colors of houses for scarves. And I'm a Gryffindor, and so I got the Gryffindor colors. But this is the exact replica of what they have in Hogsmeade. That's all year round, which I think is so fun. It even has a little snow owl. And this is something that I will keep up all year round as well because it's all year round in the wizarding world, which I just think is so cute. It's so cute. Next, we're gonna be moving on to stationary items. So I ended up getting this little guy. This is one of those, I call them floating jellyfish. That's probably not what they're called in Pandora. And it does light up. Oh, there we go. It does light up. I think it's running a little bit low on batteries, but I'm always looking for fun pins to keep at work just to like sign contracts with and just be a little bit silly. And so I have never had anything from Pandora. And so I thought I would go ahead and get something from Pandora. So it says Pandora. And then it's got the little jellyfish on there, which is really fun. So next item I had never seen at the parks before. I think that it's new, but it may not be. I think this is so beautiful. So I am in the middle of trying to get my craft room to be fully Disney craft themed. So anything that is crafty, like Scrump, like Tinkerbell who tinkers with different things, like the mice from Cinderella, Rapunzel, those, those are the sorts of examples. And I found this beautiful journal and this journal, we were staying at Pop Century, and so I found this at Pop Century. I hadn't seen it in any of the other parks or Disney Springs or anything, and it has Cinderella, and then it does have like spools of thread, and this whole center is actually embroidered 
which I think is so neat. It's got her crown and it's got really pretty flowers and beading detail. You've got Jacques and I believe that's Susie or yeah, I think that's Susie. And then on the side, there's more embroidery. And then on the back, there's also embroidery and it does have like a very pretty gold metallic on the edges. And so I just wanted to display this as, um, just as like a book on a shelf. And then here's the inside. It does have little birds. And then it has the mice, Gus Gus and Jacques. I almost forgot the most important detail. When you open the book, it actually has the pattern that they show in the movie for the pink dress, which I think is one of the coolest details of this journal. I love this. And this is actually something that I do want to get framed for my craft room. So I may actually copy this and print it out and actually put it into a frame for the craft room because I think that that is such an iconic moment in Disney animation where they're showing like the pattern and the, the mice and the birds are creating that dress for her. So I think I'm gonna do that with this, which is great because it's really difficult to find that image online. So here is the new journal that's gonna be displayed in my craft room. And yes, I'm hoping Soon I will be able to get a video out where I'm actually decorating my craft room because I do have enough stuff now that it's actually time for me to get decorating in there, which is really exciting. And next, I have this massive calendar. Every year I get a Disney calendar. Last year I had the 50th anniversary, which I'm a little sad to see it go because I loved it so, so much. But this is the Disney by, it's an artist name and I don't know what the artist name is. Maybe it says up here. Yes, Anne Shen poster art. So this is poster art by Anne Shen. Okay, so I wanted to show you each of these calendar, calendar months because they are stunning, stunning. And the other thing that I love about this calendar, it does have a scalloped edge on the bottom. So here is the first, it is the Aristocats with Marie Berlioz and Toulouse on the piano. Next, here is a couple on the Small World ride. Oh my gosh, it's so cute, I'm obsessed with this. And the thing I love about these types of calendars, so this actually has like a perforated edge, so you could carefully take it off. And they also have a perforated edge down here. So each of these posters are actually meant for you to keep to use them as artwork in your home. Disney, yes. Please keep doing this. I am obsessed with this style. I have always been that person that has kept calendars because I love the artwork. And this just allows us to easily do that. So I'm so appreciative. This March is so beautiful. So here we have Alice and she's balancing teacups on her head, which is so pretty. The little white rabbit is at the top. When it was your birth month, let me know. I know that we've talked about this before on haul videos where I think I showed the last calendar and I'm always like, oh, no, November, because November is my birth month. I always get really excited about my birth month on calendar. So which one is your birth month? Uh, we have April. This is uh, Sleeping Beauty in her um, forest outfit, which I think this is her most beautiful outfit. I love, it's called a peasant dress, but I don't, she's not a peasant. I don't believe that for one minute. Next, oh my gosh. May, we have Mermaid Lagoon with the mermaids from Peter Pan, just so beautiful. June, we have another Aristocats, which is so much fun. And what I love about this, you can see each of the characters have their own items. Like you can, um, Berlioz is by the record player. Toulouse is painting a picture. Marie has some milk. Girl, what are you doing? She's just being fabulous. That's fine. She can drink her milk. Gosh, next is Mulan. And I believe that they did an homage to Mulan because her 25th anniversary, is it 25th anniversary? Is coming out soon. Ooh, this one's fun. So this is August. We have all of the different uh, treats from the parks, which is really fun. I love that they included the Matterhorn Macaron from Disneyland because chef's kiss, my fave. I love that thing. Oh my God, September is Moana and her grandmother. Beautiful. October is all of the princess dresses. My birth month, my birth month is not go wrong. It's not my favorite, but that's okay. And then last but not least, 
December is Bon Voyage, another Aristocats poster. So very cute. I love this poster. I love this poster calendar. I think it's great and I'm very excited. I display it in my office every year and people always look forward to seeing the different Disney characters that are in my office each month. So $26.99. It's really decently priced too. Can you imagine trying, like if you really liked one of those art prints that's from that calendar, $26.99 would be less than you would spend on an actual print of that image. So that's like, it's just such a good deal. Okay, and next let's talk about apparel. So the first thing that I got, this was actually the, a gift from my aunt. She got me the goofy ball cap. So I wanted this ball cap so badly and it was sold out everywhere. We went to Epcot, her and I, one night and we saw it at the Finding Nemo ride and we're like, oh my gosh, there it is. We're gonna get it. Totally forgot to get it. And if I can offer one point of advice is if you see it and you like it, buy it at that location immediately because you can return it anywhere if you don't want it or if you have buyer's remorse. <laughs> the reason why I'm saying this is because it took us the entire week to find this again. We found it on the last night at Fantasmic, at the gift shop at Fantasmic. They had two of these left and I got one of them and I was so, so excited. I think this is so adorable. So it's got Goofy. It does have his big old teeth. The thing I like about this, this is a little bit different than the traditional Goofy hats, is his nose is not as long. And so this is definitely wears like a trucker hat, right? So it's got like the same length as like a typical baseball cap. It does have a really cute um, Goofy's hat on the top. And it is like very, very um, stiff, which is great. So it like holds its shape really nicely. And then we have the little patch that you would see like on his pants and then the little ears is this like the cutest thing ever i'm obsessed with this i am definitely going to be putting together a goofy outfit to wear this to the parks in because i think it's going to be adorable okay so here is the spirit jersey that i purchased so i actually got this at the airport i saw it in my side i saw it in, in an extra large and i really wanted the oversized version and i fell in love with it but it got ruined in the laundry and I'm not happy about it. So I'll talk about that in just a second. But anyway, so here it is. This is the Walt Disney World 50th Spirit Jersey. So here's the front. It's got Walt Disney World with Mickey and the castle. The back, it has Walt Disney World all the way down the arms. So this is a little bit different than your typical Spirit Jersey. Usually it just has like Walt Disney World here. So it goes like a little bit beyond your armpits, but this actually goes all the way down to like past your elbows, which is kind of interesting. And then it has on the bottom of the back, it has all of the characters in their 50th outfits. It has Goofy, Minnie, Mickey, Donald, Chip and Dale and Pluto with the 50th castle and some trees. I love their iridescent outfits. I think they are so very adorable. Iridescent is the theme of their outfits and also the theme of the 50th. But I washed this by itself <laughs> and I was so pissed <laughs> because I took it out of the wash machine and guys, I don't know if that's picking. Oh yeah, you can see that. Look, she's miscolored. So she is miscolored and Mickey Mouse, his face is also miscolored. It's like the tie dye from this shirt got onto just those two like images and ruined them. So if you guys have any suggestions for how to fix this, if you would please let me know. I'm just so disappointed that it's ruined. And I like didn't wash it with anything. Like I washed it by itself like this, I feel like that really shouldn't have happened. I washed it on cold. I did all the things that you were supposed to do. I don't know. So anyway, I was very disappointed. It's not like that big of a deal because it's not like it ruined it because the shirt is still really beautiful. All of the images and like the back with like this, I mean, look how stunning that is with the glitter and the ombre. Like it, they, I mean, they did a good job. Like, don't get me wrong, but it just bothers me personally. You know that feeling where you're just like, ugh. Like probably you will be the only one that will notice, but it will drive you crazy. <laughs> Got two shirts from the vintage collection. I fell in love with this sweatshirt. So I saw someone in the parks wearing this sweatshirt and I was like, 
I need that. It is so cute. It's got all of the different emblems of the characters. You have Donald, who looks very pleasant. Minnie Mouse. We have Pluto looking so happy. You've got Mickey. Then you've got the Goofster on the, <laughs> on the back. He's just so cute. This is like a crop style of sweatshirt. It's so adorable on. Um, I always get the crop style in a 2X because the, the um, anything above an extra large, it adds two to four inches onto a cropped shirt from Disney. So keep that in mind if you're looking for a little extra length because these boxy shirts, for me, I'm 5'10". So like a cropped is like right under my bra, but this actually is like right where my leggings, like my high rise leggings will sit like a, a little bit lower than that. So it looks more like an outfit rather than a, like a sweatshirt bikini. I don't know. <laughs> Is that a thing, a sweatshirt bikini? Anyway, so this is from the Vintage Collection. And then I also got this. So I love the coloration of this. I thought it was so pretty. And this fabric is so thick. It's like such a thick cotton. It's like such a nice quality. And so it says Walt Disney World. And then it has all of the different characters. But look, it's got, it's all the boy characters. And then it's got Mickey's nephews, which is so fun. So Mickey's nephews, I the only merchandise I have them featured in is something from Tokyo. So it was really exciting to see that they were on a Walt Disney World shirt. Um, I got this in an extra large and this looks really, really big. Um, that's okay, that's okay. It looks really big. It's gonna be very comfortable. I'll totally wear that with leggings around the house. Vintage collection I got, if you watch my last Walt Disney World haul, I got a bunch from that vintage collection as well. I think they call, well, maybe it's vault collection. Is it vintage or vault collection? Or maybe it's both. Ooh, I can't remember, anyway. Moving on, I fell in love with this shirt. This shirt really surprised me. Um, I went to Port of Entry at Epcot. So there's like, right when you go to World Showcase, there's those two different gift shops. So I went to the one on the left and it was very Marvel themed. And I was like, oh, this is interesting. And as you know, your girl has fully transformed into a Marvel goddess. Oh gosh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's not right. That's not right. A Marvel, Marvel gal. Not really a goddess, Miguel. Marvel gal. So I saw this and I thought this was so much fun. So this is a Captain America, like very, very, very thick flannel. So I live in Alaska. It's cold always. Like there's never a chance where it's not cold. This thing is thick. It is like, it is so heavy too. So you have the Captain America logo. Look how beautiful this is. I am obsessed with this. I got this oversized because I want to be able to wear like layers underneath it. I wanna show you the inside because it's not just flannel. It actually has like a really nice cotton fabric, like almost like a cotton t-shirt inside so it's not itchy. And then it has a thick canvas that lines all of the edges. So I'm wondering if this might've been a little itchy and they're like, oh, we need to line that. And then it became like a beautiful coat. Like I'm obsessed. So then the back says, I love this. It says, I could do this all day. And the O on the D, the O on do is actually embroidered with the Captain America shield. Like, is this the coolest ever? Uh, as I, uh, like I've been saying, as I live and breathe. As I live and breathe. Oh my gosh. Okay, maybe I'll wear this. So I have to go into work tomorrow for like a few minutes. She might be wearing Captain America. I just have to go in and send some emails and like make some copies and take a phone call, so. Okay, it is time for a significant amount of pins. So I am just going to go through these guys really quickly. I do have one Christmas ornament that I wanna show you, although it's not Christmas themed. This is another thing that I got at the airport. And guys, don't sleep on the airport gift shop. They had a lot of things that I could not find in the parks, which was really impressive. So they had this really beautiful, the world's most magical celebration, a Walt Disney World ornament. Now I'm going to be displaying this permanently on my shelving that I have in the YouTube space, but it's got Mickey Mouse and then you can flip it and it says 50 and then it has all of the different park emblems on there. Isn't that so cool? And look how beautiful this is. So it is almost like a rose gold, but it's like an iridescent 
silvery rose gold metal. It's so hard to describe, but it's so interesting. The back doesn't have any writing around the edges, so it's just that front. But isn't that so neat? Oh my gosh, I love this. Oh, I thought this was so cool. So I'm actually gonna be taking this to work and placing this into my holiday decorations that I have at work. This is a Baymax Mochi and Hero Countdown to Christmas, which I think is so cute, $17.99. And you can actually move the numbers, so it goes up to, I think, 30 days, and you can work your way down, which is so cute. Now, this is a really cool, humongous pin that I got. A bit easier to see out of the box. There we go. So it's got Goofy, Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Daisy, and Pluto, and they are decorating the castle for Christmas. Malakaliki Maka pin that is stitched with a little Santa hat. And this is a limited edition pin this year. And I collect stitch, and I also had a really fun stitch shelf on the holiday display. I got this really fun Sully pin. This is the Merry Christmas where he's like screaming and he is a nutcracker and his mouth goes up and down. And this one is just an open edition pin this year. Next, I got an annual pass holder pin. This was a new annual pass holder pin for me. I'm not sure when exactly this one came out, but this was the Cinderella Castle 1971 pin. And this was the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special pin. And I got this for two reasons. Number one, I love the holiday special. I thought it was great. But also, when we rode Guardians of the Galaxy in Epcot, it actually had a Christmas song to it, which was really fun. And I just thought that this was a really cute way to commemorate that. That. And so I love that they had a specialty pin just for that. Next, I got Chip and Dale inside of a stocking. I think they're so adorable. They've got little newsboy caps on. And this is an open edition pin. Along with that collection, I had to get my favorite Goofy. He is kind of wrestling with a popcorn strand, of course doing something where he is struggling. Two resort pins. So we stayed at Pop Century, which is quickly becoming my most favorite uh, resort on property. And so it's got like a little tiger striped element. And then when you turn it, it's got Mowgli and Shere Khan. And then we went to the beach club and I couldn't not get to the beach club pin because it has my most favorite, Ariel and also Ursula. And it's so fun because Ursula looks so different in this pin. Definitely doesn't look like your typical um, Ursula animation. So I really enjoyed that. And both, both of these pins were limited edition. This is the side that has the little um, shell that holds Ariel's voice. And it says Disney's Beach Club. So both of those were $19.99. And they had a new open edition pin of Ariel. And I thought that this was so beautiful. Look how stunning she looks. She's got that green glitter behind her and her hair is always goals and on point. I love it so much. Because we decided to make a point to go to all of the gingerbread displays in Walt Disney World, I got all of the Walt Disney World limited edition gingerbread specific pins for the resorts that we visited and all the gingerbread displays because they had them and I thought it was really fun. So let's take a peek at all of them. I'm just gonna stand up and do like a little rapid fire for you guys. So they're so we have Rapunzel and also Pascal for Saratoga Springs. A Grand Floridian, Isabel and Beast, and it these little snowflakes have the emblem of the resort itself, and they do dangle a little bit, which is super cute. Have the Fairy Godmother for the Contemporary Resort because they had a castle gingerbread, which is so fun. This is for Epcot. This is Figment, and he's at the America Pavilion, which is where they have their gingerbread display. Next, we have the Beach Club that features Peter Pan and also the Carousel gingerbread display. Wilderness Lodge. Now they did not have a gingerbread display, but they did have a pin and this is actually where we started our crawl and had a delicious breakfast at Whispering Canyon. And then last but certainly not least, we have Mickey at the boardwalk. And I just think this is such a classic pin. It's so cute. I also did purchase these stud earrings from Pop Century as well. And so this is the only jewelry that I purchased while I was there, but I thought these were so cute. So they have little bitty castles and then they have Mickey pretzels and also what really sold me were these super cute Mickey balloon studs that are in this like hot pink metallic. I just think they are so pretty. The set was $19 for all three. Oh. 
I want to move on to bags. So I got, well, I got a wallet and a bag. So this wallet I fell in love with. I found this at Magic Kingdom. Now I knew that this existed. I just had never seen it, but I love using a card holder in Disney World because I just think it's very convenient. I don't like to carry a big wallet. And so this looks like a thermos, which I think is adorable. And it's got Mickey and Donald and Pluto and also the castle and the monorail. And it's got some areas for your cards. And then on the back though, it's got my favorite. It's got country bears. And so the country bears are playing there and it says a Walt Disney World. And this is also a place where you can put cards. And so next time I go to Disney, I'm definitely gonna be using this as my wallet. I think it's. And then my bag that I got was actually a gift from my mom for my birthday. This was my big gift. And I was so excited. This is the Pandora. Banshee backpack. So if you've seen my channel before, you probably know I'm obsessed with Flight of Passage. It is still my most favorite ride in Disney World, period. I just love this ride so much. I could ride it over and over and over again. This bag was announced at D23 Expo and I saw it in real life for the first time this last trip and oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. So the wings are adjustable so you can actually place them inside so it like looks like the wings are folded back. It does have a little fin here at the bottom. Let me move the wings so you can see it. So it does protrude from the bottom. So here's the bottom of the bag. So it does have a little bit of a lip. And I just think that this bag is such a stunning bag. Oh, I haven't seen the Way of Water yet. Have you guys seen it? I am hoping to go very soon. I heard it was amazing. So I'm really excited to see it. Here is the inside of the bag. We always like to look on the inside. It's got some of the symbols that you'll find kind of around the Pandora area. And it also has um, like the outlines of banshees and little stars and moons and clouds. It's so pretty. This is probably more of a display piece rather than a piece that is practical, but I definitely think I'm gonna be taking this to Disney World and getting some fun photos in Pandora because this is just too cool not to at this point. <laughs> I'm obsessed with it. It does have side pockets. It is a lounge fly bag, by the way. So um, yeah, I, I just love it. I guess that it is available on um, pre-order on Shop Disney. So if you're interested in getting it, I, I did see it on there, but this was $95, but I did, um, I did use my AP discount and my mom gave me the money for it. So thanks mom for this beautiful, beautiful bag. I, I'm obsessed. It was quite the haul. If you made it to the end, put a little castle emoji and let me know because you're the real MVP. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know which item was your most favorite. Also, be sure to let me know what your favorite item is that you purchased at Disney recently. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also be sure to subscribe down below for lots of magical lifestyle Disney theme park and all sorts of things of videos that are coming up very soon. Happy New Year. I hope you have the most amazing weekend and I will see you guys in 2023. TTFN, bye.